It may not be 1999 anymore, but there's still time for Burning Road. It's an utterly generic French-developed uh, racer that's a complete utter clone of Ridge Racer with a bit of Daytona on it. But for some reason, I have a soft spot for it, and playing it again to review it just reminded me of the cool things about it, which I hope to demonstrate to you now. Three, two, one. It actually has a feature that's ahead of its time. Uh, two if you can the weather bottling, and that would be the uh, damage bottling of the car. As you progress through the race badly and crash into things, uh, it actually reflects in the car bottling. Even the distributor in Australia thought the game was 100% wicked! I'd have to say that this part of the game is probably its uh, most important reason for existence. Continued uh, memory in the hearts and minds of uh, all gamers everywhere. Watch the helicopter. It went into the tunnel! The helicopter went into the tunnel! <laughs> That's fucking genius! It's excellent! It's like being in uh, Mission Impossible or whatever the fuck awful action movie it was where they had the helicopter in the tunnel scene. With the exception of the crazily accented announcer and the horrific pop-up, this game is pretty much utterly generic in every way. But at least it's not actively bad, like quite a swathe of other PlayStation 1 racers that you could uh, waste your money on. And uh, since this game was released worldwide, pretty much anybody could get it. But if I were you, I wouldn't spend more than a few bucks.